Yay! Okay. It's a new time. Yeah. Um, so let's uh, do some new products. Of course. Okay. First up. This is a uh, it's not forgotten, but sadly slightly forgotten from last week. This is actually last we week. We had so many new products. Last we week. had so many new products yeah. that we um, didn't realize we had even more than we thought. So we do have some more RGB metal buttons. These are like really nice durable buns and we have them in a couple different sizes and they have an RGB LED in them. You asked for it. You asked for it. You guys really asked for it. I got like Every time emails. I have a glowing bun, it's like, could it be could RGB? Could it be RGB? 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 Can I have it RGB? <laughs> yeah. So Next, they're going to be like, why isn't it NeoPixel? But we do have RGB buttons, and I could show them off. Yeah, it's overhead. So we have um, two size buttons. This is like, the, I think, the 22 millimeter, and I think this is 19. Uh, so they're nice, big buttons. And we have them in two style. One is momentary, where you, you know the the switch is only active when you press the button. And then we have another one where like when you press the button, it stays closed and then you click it again. So um, we have both kinds. And um, the smaller version of the push button, again, they all have RGB and you can see I'm connecting to the RGB pins. This smaller button has a single pull double throw uh, switch. So you can, um, this center contact or Whichever one is labeled common. Sorry, this pin is the common contact. Uh, this is a normally open contact. This is a normally closed contact. And when you press the button, they swap. The normally open closes and the normally closed opens. And, uh, you know, you have a um, nice um, mounting hex. And it's, it's, you know, these are not waterproof. They are weather resistant, but they're nice and durable. And they're, of course, beautiful looking. And then yeah. you can make the color any color you want. I see these in a lot of um, new products now, like mm -hmm. uh, commercially shipping. Um, they might not be the Espresso same. Espresso machines and stuff. They might there. not be the same button, or they might be. Um, and it's a really neat effect because you can do other things with it. It can give you status and all sorts of um, color patterns based on something that's going on. Yeah. So it's a smarter button. Smart button. And yeah. I, like, I like it. it can, you can have a lot of information <laughs> with you know, RGB. A red, not working, yellow. yellow. Watch out. Watch out. Red, don't. Green, Green everything's okay. Green, go, you know, blue flashing, yeah. and you know, need something, white yeah. flash, whatever. So it's cool. fading, pulsing fading, you know, yeah. heartbeat for, you know, breathing effect for sleep mode. So I, I kind of like that it's, um, you can do a lot with it. Um, this one's a little bit bigger. It's a slightly uh, stouter switch as well. Um, measurements are in the tutorial, uh, the page. Also, it comes with a nice uh, mounting screw. Uh, four contacts in the bottom for RGB. They're both common anode. And then this one actually has two switches, and they are both, um, one is normally closed and one is normally open, but they're completely separate. Mm. So it's two SPST switches, but one is opposite of the style of the other. So you have two separate switches um, for the style. But you, you, yeah, you, know, you get extra switches. I guess if you want to control two different things, have one thing turn off and one thing turn off on at the same time. But um, mostly it's the RGB. That's what people are here for the RGB. <laughs> But stay for the clicky. Stay for the clicky. Okay. They just feel great. Yeah. Lovely switches. Okay. And so we have four types, two of each size, yeah. two of each style. Okay, next up. Oh, it's a Wii controller. Oh, oh so Oh, look Wii. at this little Wii controller. Wii. Hey, what is this? It's a Wii controller. Oh. Uh, it's actually kind of an updated product. We had this out of stock. We got some more. We are way able to lower the price. And they come in Adafruit Black. Um, use these with a little nunchuck adapter board. They speak I squared C. For the price, you get quite a lot yeah. I mean it's actually you couldn't get the breakouts for these sensors for less and this comes in a nice container so I really like it as an interface um, for all sorts of electronics so check that out yeah okay uh, next up getting to a bunch of stuff this week this is the assembled feather blue fruit 32u4 so we've already had this lovely feather so one of our first feathers is actually the feather that inspired the feather line it has an atmega 32u4 which is the same chip used as the leonardo flora um, it's an arduino compatible chip and it has a bluetooth low energy module the blue fruit le and we have libraries and code and examples for all this you Apps. basically if we have an app you basically program the chip itself in Arduino, and then you can communicate with the Bluetooth device to do um, whatever yeah. you want with Bluetooth. Battery powered. You can do battery power with it. It has built-in charging. The thing is, right now, we have it assembled with headers. This might be useful for people or projects where you don't have the ability to solder yeah. or you want to get started very quickly. Um, it's pre-soldered. You can use it in a breadboard, and now you can get started 
yeah. super fast. Here's what I found from talking to educators. They are doing a lot of programming, and Bluetooth is part of that, but they can't solder in classrooms. Mm -hmm. So having what we think is the best maker kid education friendly Bluetooth board solder free yeah. is super handy. And what's nice is it plugs into a breadboard, easy to use, very yeah. compact, yep. power it or communicate over USB. Yeah. Lovely. So it's a, a bit of an update, but it's also a new product. Both the Blue Fruit and Feather have my favorite names and logos on them. Well, I like both. good work. You came up well, with them. Well, no. Team effort. Speaking of teams and people. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, a new case from Pimeroni. This is the um, Zero W case. So this case is specifically for the Pi Zero W. Apparently it does not fit the Zero 1.3, like, or the 1.2. So this is yeah. only for use with the Zero W. Make sure you know exactly what you're ordering for these things. We have both. Yeah. I think, we, you know, they're two different product IDs. Just watch out to get the right one. Um, yeah. It's a lovely little plastic case. You fit it together. I even have one here. You can show it on the overhead. You know what? I'll say this. It's kind of cool color scheme. I really like Pimeroni. Yeah. I know they watch the show. I'm not just saying it because I know they watch the show. But they're a great group of people. And um, what they, I think, inspire us to do, and I think what we inspire them to do, we're like this skateboarding troupe internationally now. Like, they do cool products. We do cool products, and our products work together. We stalk each other's products. It's just fun to do tricks with them. They is, are. Is what I'm saying. They're super skilled. Yeah. They really bring, they really bring, like, look at this beautiful diagram. And yeah. the acrylic is, like, frosted acrylic. It looks kind of cool. Yeah. I so. The overhead. Yeah, it's got the overhead, and I can show it off. So, yeah, so it comes as a. Uh, yeah, pirate theme. Pirates, monkeys, ninjas. The Bilge Tank is one of the, their shows. They have a live show. It's cool. See, you're not the only live electronics show. No, anymore. but they, when they do a live show, um, it's usually at a different time zone. So I watch it recorded, not live. But if well, I'm awake, I'll say hi. Hi. Yeah. Pi Zero W protects it. You get access to the header if you want to install the header. Um, it's super adorable. It's got this super cool color scheme. Um, a lovely little case. And we've got more from them, too. That's not the only Pimeroni goodie we have no, today. No, that's why. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so excited. I'm coughing. Um, okay, we have the Pi Touch. This is a Touch Fat. Yeah, touch so fat. this is a, a six button capacitive touch um, interface board. It uses I squared C. It is the same size as a Pi Zero, but you can use it with any Raspberry Pi. You don't have to use it with a Pi Zero. You can use it with an A plus or a B plus or a three or what have you. Um, it comes as a little mini kit. You solder the headers on, or you can use a the hammer header pack to yeah. hammer headers in. And um, it has six buttons. And then each button also has a really cool like um, LED on the bottom that then um, kind of edge lights in. I don't have it as a demo, but you can kind of see yeah. that these LEDs here uh, light through the PCB. It's a really cool design that they, they're really into, and I'm super inspired. I want to use it in one of my designs because it's such a neat idea to have the LED back edge lit. Um, but you can use it with anything you want. It's, it's a, just a Python program that comes with it, Python example code. It doesn't actually as work as a keyboard unless you want it to. You can have it act as a keyboard, but mostly you would you know, have it as an interface to um, a controller or maybe a remote control something, or yeah. you want to activate something on an HDMI monitor. You could use this as a really nice capacitive touch interface chip. Yeah, you do. Hmm. Someone said in gesture sense. You can do multiple at a time. Yeah. I mean, you can you can kind of have it act sort of as a, a, a you know, this kind of a little bit like a slide. Yeah. A teeny bit. You know, you can have four boop, different boop, boop. points. You can slide down or slide up. And with your code, you just detect that you're sliding. Yeah. It's kind of like a really nice universal controller for a lot yeah. of Pi stuff. Touch fat. And that's not all. Okay. There's more. Um, moving along here. What's this? This is yet another fat. This is a add-on for the Raspberry Pi. Again, same shape as a Pi Zero, but you can use it with any Raspberry Pi. And when you put it together, you have to solder the little uh, displays on. It is a four-letter fat. It's a 15-segment uh, or 14-segment display. We actually have you know, these as a um, breakout. This is basically the same thing, but in uh, Pi Zero bonnet shape. And um, it adds uh, a little green four digit, four character display. You can do alphanumerics with it. So you can spell letters or words. 
you can have little graphics even, little swirling things if you want, but it's just a, it's a nice way to make clear, bright um, words or scrolling text, scrolling letters to your Raspberry Pi, inexpensive. You know, you can always add a big color display, but sometimes you're like, look, I just want to display the time or I just want to, um, you know, display a, yeah. a scrolling message or something. So this is um, what you would use. And uh, again, I don't have a demo. Maybe next week we'll, we'll do a special add-on edition. We'll have these. We got these before we had time to um, yep. uh, wait the, run the code on the Pi. It's okay. a last minute edition. But uh, it's super fun and uh, easy to put together. It's a little bit of soldering. And you can have your favorite four letter words like yes. love yeah. and ahoy. <laughs> All right. And cute. All those things are true. Star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, is Microbit. Yeah, we had a lot of British things today. Yeah. The Pimeroni um, shipment. It's a British invasion. It's the British invasion of microcontrollers. Yeah. Raspberry Pi, Microbit. This is very exciting. So uh, we're the first um, American distributor for the Microbit. We've been chatting with the Microbit um, people. They're super lovely. And we're excited to do some projects and uh, accessories for the Microbits. This is really cool. Um, right now we are stocking the Microbit Go Pack. The Microbit Go Pack comes with... Uh, a micro bit, and I'll talk about that shortly. It also comes with a battery pack, two AAA batteries, and a little USB cable, a really cute little USB cable. So it actually has everything you need to get started, which is, I really like. It's an all-in-one. That's what I, this is the first micro bit that I had. The, yes. The pack. Yeah, no, this is actually our pack, I think. We just we just grabbed, because we're like, oh, we have, this already opens. So we just, we just use this. So yours will come with an FCC sticker, rather than that, this is um, the same setup. And um, let's talk about the micro bit, maybe. Okay. Um, let me take care of a couple things real quick, because yeah. there's a little bit of an FAQ. Um, yeah, let's do the, the... Well, we did this with the Pi, so I thought it'd be okay. helpful. <clears throat> what are some frequently asked questions? Well, check our site, but we have what the micro bit is. If you're an educator looking to purchase 10 or more, you can email educators at Adafruit, but we have a limit of 10. Um, I got a back in stock notification, but by the time I got there, it wasn't there. That's okay email address and again and we're doing these as fast as we can however we want to make sure that we don't overload our shipping team and also that you know one person doesn't try to buy all of them yeah um, we don't want these to end up on ebay or anything yeah we want to make sure that everyone gets a chance um so we have a, a reasonable limit on them um this is our first shipment so we will be getting more yeah um i don't have any expectation that these won't be available long term so don't worry if you didn't get it in the first shipment we will have more very soon. Okay. So let's talk about this micro bit because it's a very cool device. So the micro bit, okay, so let's get to the engineer nerd stuff out of the way. So it's an NRF 51. This whole show is that though. I know, but there's nerds and there's less nerds. Yeah. And nerds to be. For really hardcore people, <laughs> this is the NRF 51. Give me chip numbers. <laughs> 51822. It's a Bluetooth Low Energy Cortex M0 processor, 128K of flash, uh, 16K of RAM. It's a Bluetooth Low Energy um, chip as an integrated Bluetooth Low Energy radio. That means it can do uh, Bluetooth Low Energy client. It can't do central, I don't think, but it can do uh, packet radio. You can use it in a lower level, like not BLE, but a radio packet mode where you can send packets between... Uh, micro bits. Um, it's got a, an embed uh, interface chip that does the drag and drop bootloader. So that's really neat. So this chip handles that and then programs the main chip. Um, so you can use this with embed if you want. Now, for beginners, we actually don't recommend that. Uh, for beginners, there's two main ways we suggest programming this board. There is Microsoft PXT make code, which is, you know, a blockly like, scratch like, you know, black block drag and drop system of programming and they have a simulator and um, you can also write the code in JavaScript. It's JavaScript to block. You can use either so you can do more advanced stuff in JavaScript but for beginners the blocks are great. And you can also use it with MicroPython. There is a port of MicroPython to this uh, processor. It's, it's a minimal port but it does work. Um, people have been doing a lot of fun stuff with MicroPython. Keep in mind it's 16k of RAM. You're not going to be doing crazy crazy stuff. But you can get started with programming, and that's what this is intended for. This is intended for people to be their first uh, introduction to programming, to microcontrollers, to hardware. It's, it's intended to show people that programming can be fun and physical, not just on a screen. It's, it's a physical computing device. So when you turn it on, give it a second, 
it lights up. So you get this grid of five by five LEDs and that's kind of like the uh, output interface. And what's neat is there's like a, a font that you can use to scroll messages like hello. Yeah. And then there's two buttons. So it's telling me press the A button. So this is the A button, press the A button. It's like, yay. And then it's like, hey, there's a B button. Press the B button, wow. And then it says shake. And you can shake it and it will display a little interface. So on the back, there's an accelerometer, triple axis accelerometer and a triple axis magnetometer. So you get six stuff, you can do orientation, um, basically you know, uh, direction orientation sensing, motion sensing. Uh, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Chase. I saw a really neat project where the kids would um, program dot. a micro bit to have a, a phrase on it. And then one kid would put it on their head and the other kid would, um, at, you could ask yes or no questions and you'd have to guess what the word was. Yeah, so That's, it's really fun. So you yeah. can do a little, so this is a little demo where you can see as I'm tilting it, the little dot is scrolling around. So the idea is you want to get it so it touches the dot. There you go, and then there's a more levels. Okay, this is kind of neat. So as even when you plug it in, it's like telling you how to use it, giving you information. Um, now it's time to program it. Yeah. So uh, with the micro bit, you also get a uh, pamphlet, which uh, gives you some links to code challenges and code examples so they got a doctor who thing going on there's, all, doctor who there's thing. all sorts of stuff this is neat because this is going to be um yet another low-cost board that does a bunch that starts young people on their path mm -hmm. to doing programming art science engineering and i love there's a big community because they, yeah. there's like seven hundred thousand of these in the world or something insane like that so there's a lot of people who are using these and I think there'll be a lot of fun projects. And, and what's neat is that it is constrained. It doesn't have absolutely everything. You know, it has, it does have a USB serial interface and it has these alligator clip pads. You know, it's, it, it, it doesn't have everything, but I like that it doesn't have everything because the constraints is what creates creativity. Yeah. It's the, it's the things that you have to do with what you've got that force people to think about like, well, how am I going to do something fun and interesting using only 25 LEDs and two buttons and a yeah. couple sensors? I remember a few years ago, we saw like, here's an education dev board and it was this big board and it was like $100 and it did so much that no one could do anything with it. Right. So this is very, very simple. Um, uh, you can also use the LEDs as a light sensor. You can oh. do back, um, some um, back biasing. And mm -hmm. again, you can use it as a radio. You can use it as a Bluetooth energy device, but yeah. also it can send radio messages back and forth. Um, there's alligator clip pads here. There's, there's five pads, power ground, zero, one, two, three. Those are analog inputs, digital inputs, outputs, analog inputs, and also they do capacitive touch, I believe, by just, you know, there's a, there's a resistor for a basic capacitive touch sensing. Um, but there's also these finger pads, so you can plug this into an edge connector, which we stock in the shop, and then you get 19 GPIO. So you can get I squared C and SPI out of these pins as well, if you want them. Um, but I think this is really neat. There's this, you know, it's, it's a cool way of looking at things. It's a different type of microcontroller board. It isn't, it's, it's not designed to have anything else. It's designed to be fully built in together yeah. to do everything you want. And, um, block programming. Block, I mean, you could do something Python. in like five minutes. You can do something in under, under a minute. You go to the website and <clears> you can <throat> click drag and drop. You don't need to install yeah. any drivers. There's no IDE. Yeah. Which I really like. You can program it over web. You can program it over mobile. Pretty neat stuff. That's where it's at. Yeah. All right. So we have in the store, and of course the price is really great. This is uh, an organization. They're, they're looking to get people into programming, and so they worked really hard to make it cost, um, you know, a low enough amount that pretty much every kid can get one. Okay. And with that, Lady Ada is... New products. Good work.